Hey guys, it's your girl Shalina and I'm back with a new video. If you want to see how we installed this lace frontal wig from start to finish, stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? I am currently on the way to get my hair done. That's why you see me with my natural hair. Um, yeah, in case you wonder, I always shave my baby hair off because they grow inside of my face and I just don't like it, especially because I'm going to have a look without roots. Um, yeah, because you guys, you always tell me that you want to see uh, stuff about my hair and everything. So I was thinking, why not make a video about it and take you with me to the saloon and show you the whole process. Okay, so first we start with the cornrows. We want the cornrows to be flat and neat. So we are able to part the hair left, right, in the middle, or even wear it sleek back without it looking like a toupee. So this is how it looks from the front and the back. I know I got a lot of baby hair over there. So now we wrap in my head with some plastic foil because she's going to customize the wig on my head and we only want the bundles to be sewn onto the wig cap and not my head. Here we have the wig cap, the color does not really matter to me and a little pose for you guys, yes. Now it's time to customize the wig. We're doing this row by row and step by step. I know the hair is wet right now, but we're going to blow dry it and obviously style it. I fast forwarded this process. So if you want to see a video on how to style your wig, let me know in the comments. Obviously we add a clip to each and every curve so it stays late until the very end. So guys work precisely. The last bundle is missing now, but we're doing this on purpose because we don't know how much space the lace frontal is going to take. We're focusing on that now and afterwards we're going to add the bundles so everything sits at the right place. In case you wonder why I'm holding the frontal like this, it is only because we do not want the frontal to move. It has to stay where it belongs. We're almost finished. The last bundle is missing. That is going to change now. We're going to sew it in and yeah, after this, we're going to get to the interesting part. Now that we know the wig fits perfectly, we're taking it off to find out how much of the elastic band we need. The wig has to sit tight, you know, guys, it shouldn't come off easily. As you can see, guys, my hairstylist is sewing the elastic band to the wig. I don't know what I'm doing. I must be on my phone. Now we double check if the elastic band feels nice, it shouldn't be too tight or too loose. We also styled the lace frontal, but I fast forwarded this process because this video is really only about how to install the wig. If you want to see a video on how to style the wig, let me know in the comments. And now she's cutting off the lace in the front because guys are going to walk around like this. She's doing this very precisely because we want the lace frontal to look very natural. By the way guys, my battery died after this video so I just want to let you guys know that the quality of the following video is going to be lower than this. So before we apply the gut to be glue, we make sure that we clean the forehead area with some alcohol so everything is 100% clean. Then we apply the gut to be glue. I mean, there are so many methods of doing this. Some people do five layers. I think we went with two layers. Two thin layers were enough for us. Then you use the gut to be glue spray, this will make it last longer. And then you just wait for a couple of minutes until the glue is sticky or you just use a blow dryer to speed up the process. Now we are finally applying the wig. This can take a little bit of time, but I would just suggest take your time guys. You want it to look natural, you want it to look leaky. Yeah, and I would suggest to use a comb like my hair stylist. This will help you to stick down the wig to your forehead. Yeah, sometimes you have the feeling that the wig is too far back, so you can just pull it to the front and do it again. I 
Obviously, we want to have the hair behind of the ear. That makes it look more natural. We're almost finished. The wig is on my head, but we still have to customize it a little bit because I feel like it still needs some powder at the front. But you can part it everywhere, middle, side part, but obviously we're going for the side part today. I don't know why I haven't recorded it, how we applied powder onto the frontal, but it's so simple. You just use your daily powder that you normally use and um, apply it to the frontal to make it look more natural. Here's the finished look with powder applied. I'm so sorry for the quality guys, it's my iPhone. Now you can see how natural it looks. Powder really makes a difference if baby hair doesn't help. Okay guys, I've just come home. I'm in my robe, the one I bought from Primark. Um, yeah, my battery died. I was so upset because I had to shoot the end with an iPhone. Um, but I hope it was clear enough for you guys to understand how they install everything for me. I actually do this all the time as well on myself because got to be obviously only last a couple of days. But yeah, I'm kind of feeling this new hair. I never had this ginger orange and especially an ombre look. This is something completely new for me. But yeah, I'm excited to try this look out. I hope you had fun watching. And yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because it's like three in the morning now and I have to wake up early tomorrow. So I wish you guys a good night if I bring this out in the evening. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.